Well, hello again and welcome back. We are currently on the wizard build inside the Waypoint Ruin Cellar at the Way Shrine or the Site of Grace. What we're going to do now is just uh, start to slowly backtrack through all of Lingrad and backfill as much as we can along the way, all the little uh, bits and pieces, little dungeons, little catacombs and all that and so forth uh, that we should have been doing but we kind of uh, needed to get leveled up a bit first. So the first thing what we should do is I don't think I even unlocked the two that are here so we're going to go back to the Church of Ella and we'll just run um, almost straight north as if we were going to the gate front back here and there is the one little cave area here so we'll do that first grove side cave it's always good to just So this will remind me that I have to go up to in int 22. Okay, so uh, I actually also forgot to bind our lantern. So let's do that now. And we'll just turn the lantern on in the cave here because it gets a little dark. That, that's much better. It shouldn't be much more than some wolves to deal with down here. Gather up uh, all the items here. There should be two more wolves sleeping down here. That's one, there's two. Just gather up all the items. Fireflies. Ruins. There's one more dog around the corner here. And then we should be at the uh, boss fight. Okay, so we're gonna buff up here like so. We're gonna get um, our magic back so we can cast our ashes. Cast ashes right away. Fire protection talisman, the fire drake talisman, which will come in handy once we have extra slots and we can swap in and out on a flex spot there. There is no other spot to go to here in this uh, little cave, so we're just going to take the teleport back. It's very super quick. Cave, and then we're Remember to touch the site of grace before you walk away so you get all your resources back. And just to triple check here, this is the Groveside Cave. Now what we're going to do is go to the first catacombs uh, that are here in Lindgrav. And if you were wondering how, other than just just your exploration, how do you know where 
these catacombs are. Well, we actually have these statues here. And he is the guider of uh, dead seeking back to the roots of the earth tree. And there's the gate guide and gatekeeper. So he's going to show us where the local or the close catacombs is pointing over in that direction. So that's where we will bravely head. And let's just tuck down here. Away with the mushrooms. Catacombs have these types of doors in the game. And this is Stormfoot Catacombs that we're going to be doing here. There's basically two different types of catacombs. There's ones that have a lot of predominantly imps. There's always a couple of different enemies in each one, but predominantly imp based or predominantly skeleton based. So there's usually one or the other. And the odd one has both, but that's rare. Okay, there's always something around a corner in this game, so you gotta watch. This is no exception here. Around this corner there is. Oh, as you can see. There's a very aggressive sneaky imp that likes to ambush you as soon as you try to walk into this room. So just be careful about that. You don't only have to kind of do it once. Technically you don't have to do it at all, but I like to do it at least once per run. Here's the closed boss door. So we need these grave warts, uh, grave club warts to do our upgrades for our um, skeleton militia ashes. So from afar, can I get that one? Maybe. Yep. Oops. Did I run by? Sorry. That was another grave for it. Okay, Violet. Off the wall there, see? Take him out. Then there's this fire trap. Just before it ends, you start booking it and then just run and hide. Watch out because there's another one there. Now, with these things, they, you can hit them and they'll go down. And sometimes you can ride them back up. Uh, However, in this case, it's a dead end up here for me, so we're just going to fall back down and hit that again. Now we have one here again, the next one. It starts to run just before it ends. And duck it to the corner. Now, this one, there's going to be a lot of imps back here. We'll have to take it really slow. hanging off everywhere, see? So we'll try to take them out slowly one by one.
patiently and slowly take these guys out one at a time because they're they rush you there's five or six of them and it's extremely difficult I think we've got them all now and we're gonna get a ghost glove wart one which is for the larger um, legendary uh, Ashes of War. So that's good. We need that to start that off. Just take it slow in there like I was showing you um, instead of trying to bum rush in there or just kind of rush in there because it will be very difficult. With five or six guys at the same time. Get ourselves topped up here. Here's another Grave glove wart. Two guys in the back guarding an ash and another flower. Again, they try to set you up because this guy tries to stay back. And then his buddy tries to rush you from the side as you run in here. That guy. So we'll take that and the noble ash, the, the wandering noble ashes. Now, when you fall down here, make sure it's on the right hand side here. So you're actually on the, on the spot where you can open the ledge, uh, open the, pull the lever. You don't want to fall all the way down there. And we already cleared this out, but sometimes you, if you're not ranged, you can't clear out the last guy. So you have to deal with him now. We're going to pick up another grave wart here, uh, a grave glove wart. We're going to pull lever opening the big gate which should just be right down in the front here i think we cleared off everybody in here so now the gate is here for the boss fight but because in this particular one and most of them but not all of them it's usually a pretty close run back to the reset grace point in fact in this one I don't think we have to fight anything until we get to the boss fight, so it's a good idea to just go back, take this time, take a look at if you, just in case, because you never know when things could, you know, death could strike, take a look if we can use our, our any of our level ups, which we can. We're going to focus on getting a little bit more intelligence up here. Look at that. If we lose, if we happen to die accidentally, it's only... 20 or five, four or 500 shards left. So that's nothing, that's peanuts. So we're gonna go back down. We're gonna avoid those two guys there. No point on fighting them. And we're gonna just uh, book it down here to the boss fight. And we will buff up. Ready with the magic. Cast our ashes. ashes and some more ruins and we'll head back to the beginning from here uh, once we get uh, reset here at the grace point we're gonna make our way down to the beach where we're gonna go back to that cave where Bok is and we're going to fight through that cave but this will be in the next video so uh, stay tuned and we'll see you all again shortly take care <laughs>